Get, get, come on, up there. Thank you. Get over it. Beautiful. There he is. Of course you would be. Huh. Hey, Finn. Lord. You're here. Well, yes, I, yes, I have finally, I finally arrived. Yes, I, I've been, I've been, well, well I've been busy. Okay? Look on my back. You have the firearms. I do. Those explosions and shouts beyond the embrace. Is that the trouble you were talking about? You will know soon enough. Until then, we wait for dark. Wait for dark? I got Odd Grata her rabbits, for which she thanked All Mother, of course. It was All Mother working through you to bring her the rabbits. You always say that. But I was there, and I hunted alone. And you always say that. And so, make yourself alone. Interesting way of putting it. Okay, I get... I get okay, he's trying to teach her a lesson, so... Or, you know, explain her to her that it's a lesson in itself. I saw Karst and got that tripcaster I was talking about. I hate to think what that outlaw trader charged for a weapon of that make. It wasn't cheap, but the caster is worth it. Perhaps. You'll know it's worth soon enough. Well, that's not a good sign. Almost slightly foreboding, to be honest. I don't understand. Those explosions are outside the embrace. What can we do from in here? The lesson will be taught in due time, Aloy. Until then, we wait. Look, Rost. I've thought it through, and I'm not going to shun you after the proving, okay? I'm just... I won't do it. I'm not about to pretend that you never raised me. Aloy, the law forbids all contact. It does, and I don't care. I know what duty means for you, Rost, but all tribal law has ever done for me is take things away. And that's not gonna happen again. Aloy, I must obey the law. And so you will. I knew you'd say that, so this is what we'll do. I'll come to you in secret. No one will see me, so I won't get in trouble. A and I know you won't talk to me because it's against the law, but I'll talk to you. It'll be my crime, not yours. You'll just listen. And that's how we'll handle this. You've... Put a lot of thought into this. She certainly has. I know. So you can stop worrying. It's handled. Yes. So it is. Still a while to go before dark. I guess I'll get some rest. Good idea. There'll be no time for sleep tonight. I don't doubt. Okay. gate for an outcast? Some who are shunned reaped honor before disgrace. It's good to know. So much for tribal law. I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent, for we are outside of the embrace. These are the true wilds, Aloy, with threats unlike any you have ever faced. That carcass? What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth, and it's something new, something angry. Oh, great. Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. Yeah. That's a bit obvious. Okay, Follow so... The path. It's not far. Well, it took down a, a, ha a house? What happened to it? A machine, that's what. What sort Force. of machine does that? The sort of machine you're hunting now. Oh. Oh. Okay. I see. 
Blatant, but to the point. I'll watch your carcass. I'll harvest the parts. Watch your surroundings. No kidding. Let's rise. All right. On, sneak up on it. There we go. Won't be much farther. Why are we the only ones out here tonight? Why can't the tribe's braves hunt this machine? They did. The kills we passed are theirs. And tomorrow they will hunt again. Oh, okay. They won't need to. This machine will be my kill. Or your death, if you're not careful. They're a bit cocky there, Aloy. Yeah. I kind of on the uh, rust side with this one. It's just you know, so we can't be so cocky about it. It's good to be confident, but let's <laughs> steady on. Okay, let's do this. How many were there? I didn't bring you here to answer questions, Aloy. I brought you here to deal with that. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, trial. This hunt Souls. is yours to make, Aloy. Yours alone. No matter what happens, I will not intervene. That's fair. I understand. You are on your own. That's actually a fair. That's fair. To be honest. I stay out of sight. I can use the tall grass to approach. Okay, let's see. Where can I place my traps? Okay, first things first. We need to get some intel. Okay, weakness is fire. And canister. Okay, okay. Whoa. Alright, okay. Interesting. Weak to fire. Right. I see what it looks like to be a canister underneath, so if I can take advantage of that. Cast out with a flaming arrow. Oh, that's. Oh, I, I, I admit, I was genuinely. I think it. Oh God, I barely scratched the thing, didn't I? No, it just, just in a few seconds, to actually ignite the damn canister. Oh, talk about hitting. Talk about getting this. Hitting the sweet spot when it comes to weaknesses. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, I mean, why set traps? Go for the weak spot. <laughs> Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Aloy. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. Follow. What? 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 Okay, slightly lost. But that's not the lesson. Okay. These are Nora hunting lands. 
They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many Braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? Oh. Lesson lives within the question, Aloy. The duty, gotcha. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a Brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I yeah, never but said need... the tribe wouldn't need you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it. After the proving. And after I'm gone. We're finished here. Follow. Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. Okay. I understand the final lesson, Rost. Do you? But if I'm going to stand for something, it'll have to be something I believe in. Then I hope you find it, Aloy. I hope you do. Fair enough. I'll go back to the cabin with you. I'm not heading there just yet. I have other plans. Uh, oh, okay. such as? I'll be waiting for you when it is time. Uh, he wants to make, you know, he's trying to force us to get mentally prepped. Okay, okay I, see, I see what he's doing. I see what he's trying to do here. I'll see you at Mother's Heart then. You will. It, I saw the little shake of the head like, you will, but, you know, that's the last. I'm uh, assuming I read that subtext right. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Boots, skins, bone lance, and hearts. I'm tempted, but it would be nice to have a bunch of stuff to sell, so I'm going to take this one. Two fast roll packs, okay. I spent... Exactly um appearing in abundancy, are they? Okay. Oh, of course we'd have to be all the way up there, wouldn't we? Ah huh. oh, screw it. They think we can long way can hunt, I'll do so. Actually. Save it quickly. Anything collect along the way, I will. I wish there was like a, that drop and roll feature we should actually go for. Whoa! Intentionally trying to do something like that specifically, but. slowly
Might as well. Oh, of course there'd be a bloody watcher, wouldn't there? Absolutely. That's the part of things that will be able to sell. Oh. Come here. <laughs> Hi. Oh, thank you. Oh, first time I saw a ra seen a raccoon in this game. Cool. Or oh, maybe I have, I just haven't, you know, just just, just didn't realise it was a raccoon, maybe? It's quite possible. <laughs> Fresh as it comes. So collect what we can along the way. Alright. Somewhat hurry over there. You guys still there? Wow. Come here! No, it's a rabbit, not a hare. Right. Where's where is Rabbit gonna be? Let's do this. Aloy. We must speak. Alright. So, it's time. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Uh... Well, we've got to honestly ask. Are you sure they're going to let me in? <laughs> I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have True faith, enough. Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. Well, I suppose if a high matriarch's gonna be backing us, then don't really think that they've got much choice, do they? <laughs> uh, anything you can tell us about this place? What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting, more than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs, a center of Nora life, a jewel of the sacred land. Give it time, and you'll grow fond of it, as I was, back when I was at the tribe. Okay. Any final lessons before I head in? No. 
You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. Very true. Alright then, let's do this. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Take this, too. Remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. Quite Even painful of you, Ross. Enough. Not until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This. This is goodbye. I mean, I get what he's doing, but in all honesty, sorry, I'm just gonna check something real quick because there's. What in the actual hell? So if you can hear any booring, it's a bloody street sweeper outside. <laughs> what in the hell? Look, don't care what you say, Rost, but you're like a father to Aloy. What do you expect her to say? But No, it's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. Really? This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you, Eloy. And you. I mean, I get, I get why he did it. First, like, the proving. After that, I'll see where his trail leads. I mean, it's just pull out separation because he wasn't supposed, like even the Matrix, he wasn't supposed to fall in love. But you know, I think he did in his own way. So it's just like he's trying to teach a separation. You will turn back, outcast, or bleed. Your choice. Oh, this is not good. Make way. Aha. Make way. Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's yes, heart is open to your <laughs> child. Come. Aha. I'm sure you most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. <laughs> oh, dear, sir. <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. Wait, you, what? What? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? Oh, I think I know who this old friend might be. Huh. Okay. Wow. Okay. around then
Yeah. Warm ourselves up. Very important. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're here to do the proofing. Aloy! Yeah. It's you, isn't it? I had a feeling he Over might here. have been. I, I had a feeling it might have been him. Huh. Hey, Ted. How are you? Aloy, here. You know, it is it Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hoped to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead. A maker of garments and What are you armor. doing? You're doing something you're good at. That's important. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. Oh, thanks! What's it going to cost? <laughs> cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. It's a gift, Aloy. Just accept it. <laughs> oh, yes. Take... Take... Take the free box. Ooh! Ooh! Whoa! Oh, okay. This is... Interesting. Okay. Not a big fan of that one, I must admit, but it probably is quite good. Okay. Just, I'd rather get, because this has got a bit more of an all-round effect, so I think I'd uh, like to get this one. And we've got the part anyway, so. Yeah. Yeah. Might as well sell the stuff while we... Uh, that's eight. Nah. <coughs> Don't want that. 39%. Not really fantastic, so we'll get rid of that too. There. Try it on whenever you feel like it. Uh, thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. I believe anyway, that. I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Uh, Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe <laughs> rocks. Hopefully not spears. Mm. In any case, be ready to duck. Sorry, I was laughing at the, at the tomatoes part, not the rocks and spears, so... <clears throat> I decided to get... I mean, we got the resource, so I thought... That actually looks good enough, to be honest. So I think so, anyway. And then... And then... She asked for a maybe. Okay. Ah, performance. Sure. We'll join in. Watch. Oh, 
Alright. Give it a listen. Sure. Anything else around here by any chance? No. I'll take what I can find. tells me that's part of the ritual so just by you know where everything's placed so <laughs> stay away from there just temporarily uh, let's come on Aloy, over here oh it's that merchant so just give me a second I just wanted to go and listen have a carefully stuff. now for you'll have to tell this when I'm gone in the beginning all life see something came new. from all mother People, machines, and beasts, all were her children. They lived alongside each other in the comfort of her wild embrace. But some grew restless. Though they took of her bounty, they wanted more. These were the faithless. The machines had whispered to them, promised to serve them. To make them a new world, better than the one all mother provided. A world of metal. They told the faithless they would do all the work for them. Feed them, shelter them, give them a life of ease, of plenty. And so, the faithless left with the machines. Only the true children, the mothers and fathers of the Nora, stayed with all mother. At first, the machines did as they had promised. They built cities, great and terrible, monuments to their sins, but they would not serve the faithless for long. A king rose up among the machines, a machine more powerful than any other, That's the typical. Metal Devil. <laughs> and then the faithless served him, served the machines. That was not enough for the Metal Devil. He wanted all to serve him, and tried to tempt the true children away from All Mother. They would not go. They gathered on the mountainside to cling to her, and prayed, more devoted than ever. The Metal Devil raged louder than thunder. In his fury, he came to confront All Mother, intending to kill her. She struck him down. Forever, uh -huh. as you know, for his lifeless body is up there still, frozen in shame and defeat. Wait, the that's... machines were driven mad by the death of their king, and their minds became as wild as beasts. The faithless abandoned their cities, forced to wander the world without the care of the machines. Only we remain the true children of all mother. We built all this with the hands that she gave us. Machines are to be hunted. Metal to be used for scrap, for craft. But never to be adored. And we stay true to her laws, resolute in our prayers, don't we? For the dangers are never over. Still the faithless envy our sacred land and covet it. And year upon year, the machine's anger grows. Searching for little Nora boys and girls who have not been made. <laughs> what? Is that a machine among us now? <laughs> no, no. These old eyes are mistaken. <laughs> Listen carefully now. For you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. Oh, I love this God. part. Oh, Get down from there. From all Bat it up, you're drunk. What do you have to go climbing houses? Beasts. Oh, not supposed to go climbing on other people's roofs, huh? In the comfort of our mother. 
Get down from there, now! Oh, that's just what you want, isn't it? For me to fall on my head! What? <laughs> every year this happens, every year. At least he's not trying to run a brave trail. <laughs> I suppose that's true. It's better than... Ourselves up again. Huh? Wasn't dropped when I ran the proving. I'm out of one. Listen carefully now. So but this metal devil is um that uh oh god where it where's the thing there? <laughs> so that's the metal devil, is it? Wow. I hope that thing never ever wakes up. Aloy, over here. Sorry, Karst, we're coming. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? <laughs> how could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. <laughs> you know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's Heart, I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, a man can't drink alone all the time, can he? <laughs> Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. Aww. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. No, we don't, it's I won't right. hold it against you. If you give me a discount. Oh, cheeky. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. <laughs> it's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. <laughs> oh dear. Hey! Come on, Cuss. You said you're going to be rooting for us. What do you expect? All sales are final. If it breaks, you're out of luck. Oh, any last minute things I could sell? those things right oh so we got duplicates of those already okay no protection cannot oh cannot be sold okay right Potions we might want. They're expensive, aren't they? Hmm. A few health potions. Just take that. I think we're all good. Always happy to take your shards. All right, let's uh, just open this. Uh, crafting, isn't it? Yes. Was this fire weave? Okay. Was this range attack? Ranged attacks? Was this? Corruption. Hmm. Honestly, I think at this point, resisting fire would actually be really good. I think that would be the most useful thing for us right now. Yep. Oh, nice travel pack. Awesome. Fantastic.
In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace. It's peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by the and hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Earth. Killers and slavers! Well, they clearly don't hey, like him. <laughs> hold your fruit, nor if, nor if faithful. Hold your fruit, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. Wow, okay. I hated the Karja. But? But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. That's a fair point. Yeah. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. In his Straight own way. The lips of the 14th King. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> <laughs> An enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of Sun King Avad. 14th luminance Wait, what? of the Radiant Line. <clears throat> okay. Someone else has got an earpiece? Advice. No, the is. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? <laughs> sure. I, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? <laughs> I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. He's a bit sketchy. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. It's just me. Hey, you got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? Not his really. Is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewelry sticks on his face. I mean, no offense. It looks great on you. <laughs> okay. Uh, he's going to try that old speech, is he? Okay. Uh, yeah. Why don't I ask all of these? <laughs> I thought your friend was going to go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. Lenora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? Red Raids? I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Nope. Well, let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. Cool. It has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. Okay, fair you enough. Even give them Nora War Maid like you more trouble than she can handle. Oh God! <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down. <laughs> oh! Yeah, hard Damn! To say. <laughs> From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, he's trying his. Oh God! Seriously, this. Uh. I wanted to ask you something else. Yeah, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. Well, we're here now, so... Yeah, I was wondering myself. I never heard anything about Red Raids growing up. 
What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? Not really. <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Uh, well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. Oh, I'm sorry. And Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. So what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. That's good. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. Ugh, he's really trying to plant those mental seeds. Around, give it a bloody rest, will you? Who are the Osaram? Oh, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things. Arguing, working steel, and brewing. I believe you. And freebooters. What are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries. Warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now, some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. Wow, that's pretty amazing, actually. <laughs> Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away. And now she's my captain. Oh, wow, okay. Captain of the entire vanguard. Oh, wow. Favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Well, oh, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Ugh. Or just yeah. come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh, direct. Oh, you're trying your way, aren't you? He's trying, he's trying. Don't buy into it, Aloy. Come on. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah. I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh. I'm sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. Oh, really? Okay. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous. So long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. <laughs> but then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Oh, wonderful. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner. And heavily well, that's a serious problem. Like the sawtooth. Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? And no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Tell me about the derangement again. Oh. Well, the went up, so it would be now if you, if that wasn't bad. Like, yeah, ten. So what's making it happen? And no one knows. Ah, whoops. If for some reason it was just glowing again, so I... If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. That's no, not. It's a good sign. Besides, the Karja don't just fight. They build. Well, take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. Oh, if I could pass on that, okay. Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? Where do I even start? My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. 
The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. Wow. And across the valley stands the spire, like a blade thrust into the sky reflecting the sun. That sounds impressive. You really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge or an invitation. If it weren't for the way he's using his eyes to look at Aloy in that regard, I'd almost I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. And I'll, I'll take that as a general invitation. <laughs> God's sake. What else do you know about Olin? Is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Huh. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. Yeah. Okay. I should make my way to the blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and, well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? So, she obviously can't tell she's been hit on. Oh, boy. I almost kind of feel sorry for her in that regard. That she hasn't learned that concept. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, love to hear, and uh, yeah, next time it looks like we'll be uh, starting the proving. See you then.